Let's get this bad boy. Welcome everyone to our breakfast club call. My name is Pamela Pacheco and I have the absolute honor, pleasure, and privilege of being your host. Today is Thursday, April the 18th, 2024. Man, type a one in the chat if you are grateful for another day. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the call, everybody. Grand Rising, we got ATL in the building, New York City, Tampa, Farmington Hills, Michigan. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So I'm super excited. Let me fix my hair, guys, because it look crazy. But um, if you are just now joining us, my name is Pamela Pacheco. And I remember when I first started the journey of entrepreneurship over 10 years ago, I was looking forward to these type of morning mentorship calls. Not only was I looking forward to these type of calls because of the information I was going to receive, but for the inspiration that I was going to receive. See, garbage in is garbage out. Greatness in is greatness out. And how you start your day sets the tone for your day. So kudos to each and every single one of you guys that decided to not only start your morning with some positivity and some inspiration, but some fire to set your tone for the day. And it is so important that in the morning, you are just doing what you need to do, making those necessary habitual changes so that you can start off your name with positivity, your day with positivity. Our subconscious mind is opened up the most in the morning and at night. So be mindful of what you are putting into your mind at these times. So let's get right into it. Man, we have had an amazing week. We uh, we are fresh from our regional training event. Top of one in the chat. If you were at a regional training event this past Saturday, met so many people. Yes, yes, yes. Some of you guys were actually training. Some of you guys were emceeing. It was such a beautiful time. And I don't know about y'all, but there was just a different energy in the room. There was just a different energy in our company around the world. And it is truly, truly a blessing to be here at such a time as this. And one of the things that I wanted to talk to you guys about today was making the decisions necessary, right? Yes, so many people are like, yes, 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 I was in training. I agree. Absolutely, absolutely. And it is so important that when we are thinking of, you know, making the decisions and the determiners, right? When making the decisions, it's so important that as we get out of this weekend, out as we get out, as we go back into, you know, making sure that quarter two surpasses quarter one. See, it's great. It's uh, amazing that my great friend, uh, Michelle Briscoe, who was one of our leaders of leaders, shout out to Michelle. She was the MC for Atlanta, Hot Atlanta. And not because she's our teammate and my great sister friend, but I know she was going to kill it. And she did. So kudos to you. And it's interesting because one of the things she said to me, she was like, you know, I can have a bad week, but I cannot have a bad month. And that is so true. Muzaffar always says that. A lot of our leaders always say that. And the reality is that the way that you do not have a bad month, the way that you bounce back from a bad week is what decisions are you making? Right. If we look up the word decision, decide, it means kill off, kill off all other options. See, when we say big decisions are made at big events, the event is, is as big as you want it to be for you. The event is as big as you are ready to lead. The event decision is determined, in fact, to the ability of what decisions are you willing to do? What are those things that you're willing to kill off? See, one of the things that we should kill off are excuses. If you're taking notes, because note takers are history makers. One of the things that we should kill off are excuses. One of the things that we should kill off are our limiting beliefs. So killing off the excuses. Why? Because excuses only serve those who make them, but they will always be the nails that we use to build houses of failure. They will always be the nails that we use to build houses of doubt, houses of destruction. So if you're asking yourself, what excuse am I utilizing right now? And I'm going to give you some of these, right? Because me too. Type of me too in the chat if you can relate because you've not only been at a point in your life where you made excuses, but we all have, if we're being honest, you know, I'm not enough. I don't have enough time, right? Um, I don't know. I don't know enough about this. Um, let's see what else is a good one. I don't have enough time. 
You know, I nobody nobody's picking up the phone. I already showed everybody on my list. Um, everybody keeps quitting. Everybody, it, it's so many different excuses. So killing off those excuses, killing off the limiting beliefs, killing off the things that do not serve us. We just had an event. I do a lot of community events here in Tampa, and I'm going to take them on the road soon. But uh, we just had an event called Release and Resurrect. And it was interesting because the theme was to release what does not serve you, release the past, release the pain, release the unforgiveness, release the, uh, the lies that the enemy spoke over you, release the lies that somebody that was already giving up on their dreams spoke over your dreams. So release the lies, to release everything and anything that does not serve you, that is not in alignment with your God-given identity. See, and resurrect those dreams, resurrect that God-given purpose, resurrect that business, resurrect that burning desire that we all have within us to not only do great things in business, but to live a purpose-driven life, to be able to say, hey, you know what? I am worthy of the dreams that I have in my heart. I am worthy of the ideas that I have that I want to bring to fruition. I am worthy of going a thousand square. I am worthy of people following me. I am worthy of being a leader. So what excuses do you need to let go of today? And I'm gonna give you like five seconds to write some things down, okay? Write down those excuses that were not serving you. Write them down. And as soon as you write them down, I want you to look at them. Right, we're gonna get five, four, three, two, one. And I encourage you to do this, right? Periodically, we need to do this because we gotta check our own selves. And here's what I want you to do. I want you to crumble it up. I want you to crumble it up and I want you to throw it away. And the re the reality is that, you know, uh, Karen, it's interesting because Karen Laura, she was one of our speakers and she made everybody raise their hand. And if I tell everybody, right, raise their hand, you're gonna naturally go like this. But why didn't you reach higher? So it's it's the excuse of, again, what are you reaching for? The excuse is that we limit ourselves. So those limiting beliefs are holding us back from not only building a business, but from being able to make an impact, from being able to leave a mark. Sure, we've all been through some painful things. Type a P in the chat if you've been through some painful things, if you've been through some heartache, right? If you, whether it's in business, whether it's in family, whether it's in your household, whether it's in your jobs, whether it's in your career, right? We've all been through some painful things, but I'm here to tell you that you deserve better. It's time to let go of what does not serve you. It's killing off all other options. It's killing off all of the things that the enemy is trying to use. And it's like, I don't want to give him that much credit because a lot of times it's us. I always say when you master the mundane, magic happens. So you're killing off the excuses. You're killing off those limiting beliefs. How about killing off those habits? How about killing off the habits that are not serving us? So here's a really great thing that I utilize. And here's a limiting belief that a lot of people have, whether you are a multifaceted individual like myself and, and you have a career and you have another business and you do things, right? Me too. But here's what I do know. Prioritizing time works. Prioritizing time, prioritizing your life, prioritizing, leaving your mark on this world speaks volumes. So it's called you making time for the things that matter. Guess why? Because you matter. That imposter syndrome is real. And if you don't know what that is, that's like you thinking you're not worthy of the greatness God has called you to. You thinking you're not worthy of the great things that are supposed to happen in your life or the great things that are happening in your life right now. Now, because you are worthy of all of that and more. So letting go of that imposter syndrome, letting go of those limiting beliefs, letting go of those excuses that are not serving us, letting go of those habits. Your mindset is where your mind sits, right? So what are you doing every single day to work towards your business? And one of the things that I tell people is like getting back to the bakes, to the basics. And when we talk about the, the the decisions, right? Determiners when making decisions. Number one is gathering the facts. So good decisions follow good information. So what are the facts? The facts are that we have a business to build. The facts are that if you treat this like a business, it will pay you like a business. Some people tell me, oh, you know, I couldn't get to this event. And I empathize, right? With people that are not in this business, with people that don't have a side hustle, 
But the reality is if you treat this like a business, you'll earn money like a business. You cannot be broke in a business that pays you weekly. That's the reality. You cannot be broke in a business that pays you weekly. And I remember when I first heard that in entrepreneurship over a decade ago in this industry, I was like, goodness, my mentor just snatched all my edges out, right? Because I was like, okay, but it clicked for me. It shifted my mindset and it allowed me to say that, hey, if you put in the same effort that you put in in your job towards your business, you will have no business being at your job. You will have no business being broke. You will have no business being stagnant. You will have no business counting for pennies. The reality is that your mindset is where your mind sits. Whatever you focus on is what you will follow. So when you talk about gathering the facts because good decisions follow good information, what are some facts that you need to gather? Okay, well, take out the time to build your business. You should have been able to make a list. And if you want a brand new team, you make a brand new list. I made a brand new list, okay? I had five guests at the RTE. Out of five guests that I had at the RTE, three got started. Now, am I telling you that to bolster, to brag? No, but just to let you know that I practice what it is that I am preaching. And I understand this. I love building covenant relationships. I love building authentic relationships with people. And my job is to lead them to the promised land. Their job is to make a decision or not. But I have to gather the facts because, again, good in, good decisions follow good information. The facts are that our regional training events are built to not only help people build this business, but to help people build themselves up. I've had people that have got promotions at their careers because they've been engulfed in this world of personal development. I've had people that have got better at their life meaning they've become better partners to their wives, better partners to their husbands. They become better mothers. They become better daughters. I was that girl. I became a better person because of these events. It was the person that I have become in the process why I will never stop doing this. It's the people that I've been able to help and inspire. So what are the facts that you're gathering that are allowing you to make good decisions? Here's another fact. Freedom Academy will be sold out. So it's not about only you getting your ticket, but who do you want to bless? See, you hear, you see Michelle Briscoe going off right now and all of these things. You know why? I paid for her VIP ticket over a year ago to our event that was in Atlanta, her and her fiance, Terry on Crook. Why big decisions are made at big events? See, I know that I'm going to be a blessing to somebody because everybody needs a community that is safe a community where they can feel seen, a community where they can feel understood, a community where they can feel empowered, a community where they can feel encouraged. And this is what these events do. These events are the glue. See, motivation, it washes off like perfume. But when you have a vision, when you have a purpose, it sticks to you like crazy glue. When you have that burning desire and you feel empowered by those people around you, it's priceless. So gather the facts, good decisions, follow good information. Here's another fact, making a list. So taking the time out to make a list. So if you made that list, now we got to take time to invite. And if you're the person that's like, oh, well, you know, I don't have time, make the time. I love using what is called one of my favorite performance hacks. And this has gone on through so many years, upon years, upon years. It's called the Pomodoro technique, where you block out 25 minutes towards a dedicated task, 25 minutes toward a dedicated task, and you set that timer. And all you do for those 25 minutes is work on that task. So all you do for those 25 minutes is call people, set appointments. So when you're calling people, this is why you need to be in a hurry. This is why, listen, I don't got a lot of time right now, but what you doing later at seven? Oh, you free? Cool. Listen, I got something big I'm working on. You're going to be excited. You're going to clear the date. You're going to confirm the date, but you're going to be in a hurry because you don't got time to chit chat. I'm calling you with a purpose. So the Pomodoro technique allows us to work on a dedicated task for 25 minutes and you set that timer and then you take a five minute break. And then if you wanna do it again, cool, you can do it again or not. Do it again the next day. But every, every day you should be working towards building your dreams because your business is going to outlive you. This is the mark that you're gonna live in, leave in this world. So it's, yes, it's about 
you, you know, traveling and having fun and putting the best skincare on people and helping people age backwards and making sure people are feeling better. Cause I'll tell you one now, if you don't, if, unless you got another body hanging up in your closet somewhere, you shouldn't be putting anything else in your body, but life by secret. Good decisions follow good information. Do you know what these products are made of? Do you know that Dr. Cohn made these products to combat degenerative diseases? Do you know that we beat everybody on a blind test taste? See, what do you have good information? Do you know that you are on good soil when it comes to what you have your hands on, when it comes to this leadership, when it comes to the product? We got over two dozen of our friends right now that are in Dubai. I muted everybody. I told them have fun though, right? <laughs> I want them all to have fun. That's what my people, I love them, but I had to mute them because the FOMO is real. The fear of missing out is crazy. We got over 70 people going to Italy. And by the way, we got some room on that trip. So contact me, Lisa or Denise. Um, if you want to go on that trip from August 5th through the 11th, we're staying at the Grand Vitali. It is going to be absolutely out of this world in Southern Italy, right? Do you What good information? Do you know the information that you got your hands on? Do you know that you have leaders that are willing to go through extra lengths just to make sure that you follow your dreams, just to make sure that you make your dreams a reality, just to make sure that now you have somebody else that cares about your family. Now you have somebody else that cares about your financial goals. When was the last time somebody called you and said, I care about the legacy you're leaving for your children? I had that uh, shout out to Julian and Sierra. They drove over an hour, almost an hour and a half to the training in Colorado to go see KP. And he's a barber. He's also a musician. His wife owns a business and they have a family. And I and I just had a real conversation. And I was like, bro, I know we don't really know each other like, like that, but it's and I say this with nothing but love and respect. But what are, what are you going to do if barbering has to stop? How are you going to take care of your family? Who else do you have calling you that is asking you about your financial plan? That is asking you about what your goals are and that not only is asking you, but that actually cares enough to invest their time their energy, their attention, their effort into helping you live out your best life. And they drove, right? Big decisions are made at big events and they're coming to Freedom Academy. And they've been working their business diligently, working towards their dreams, working towards the goals. So gather the facts because good decisions follow good information. If we have presentations going on every single day, gather the facts, right? Know what presentations are going on every single day that are going to help you build your business, that are going to help you build your dreams. So these are little things that we, we have in place to help you win. Gather the facts. What leaders do you need to reach out to, right? We have chats with our leaders and new teammates. They know that if they need something, they can just go right in that chat and be like, hey, I need a presentation at this time. Now, why do we do that? Because we all have different things we're working on, but we all know that our schedules may contradict, but we're here to support each other each and every single step of the way. You should have calendar optimization. Optimize your calendar for success. Everything is in my calendar from what I do in the mornings to me reaching out to people, to me reaching out even to my siblings, to me reaching out to my grandmother, goodness. And I know some people may be like, that is ridiculous, but it works for me. Cause my calendar is like my second Bible. And I tell people that like, I don't cancel. So if we make an appointment, we make an appointment. I may, I may run a little late maybe, right. Depending on, depending on what's going on, but I don't cancel. So gathering the facts because good decisions follow good information. Here's another thing. Number two, consider the needs decide based on need, not on desire decide based on need, not on desire. See, leaders are those that are able to bring certainty to an environment where there isn't any. And in the world where there is nothing but doom and gloom, we choose to be light and love. We choose to be the leaders. We choose to be the people that are saying, listen, I know here's here's one thing. And I'll tell you this. Okay? I'm on TV on a weekly basis talking about business coaching, travel and lifestyle, mindset, performance coaching. So I was just talking about career needs, career goals. And I was just talking about also passive income and the perks of travel and lifestyle. And here's what I, here's what I know people need. People need certainty. It's one of, it's our number one human need. People need significance. People need variety. People need love. People need growth. People need contribution. It's our six basic human needs. 
And this is why so many people tend to the church because it meets all of their human needs. But this is why so many people go to our events and cling to our community because it meets all of their human needs. See, you also get the certainty that if you put in the work, you're going to get money, right? You're going to get, you're going to get money, not only weekly, you'll get a residual check too. So it's the certainty, right? It's the certainty of knowing that the needs of people right now, here's another thing that people need. People need to save money. I offer this to my clients and everybody I love. Why? Because can we agree that everything is going up? Type of you in the chat, if everything is going up, the, like the price of milk go up, the price of chicken went up, the price of fish went up, the price of lobster, the price of insurance, the price of for the price of eyeglasses, the price of gas, the price of cars, the price of homes, everything is going up. But don't you think people need something to help them save money? See, I know that I'm adding value again. Good, good decisions follow good information, but also considering the needs because the decisions are based on needs, not on desire. I know people need to save money. So it helps me every day know I went to see Cat Williams for $20, right? I'm flying to Philly today, going to the Bad Bunny concert. My friends paid $600 for the ticket. I paid 200 for mine, sitting in the same section. Needs, people need to save money. People, We get to save money on things we do, on things we go to have fun, on things we eat, like on things that we're doing every day anyway. So do you know how to use your membership? Do you know the value that you have? See, a dollar saved is a dollar earned. So if you know what you have your hands on, you're able to make good decisions to follow the good information, but also make decisions based on the needs. So considering the needs of people, people need certainty. People need opportunity. There is, there's never been a time as great as this where people are looking for home-based opportunity more than ever. And there's nothing that can even come close or compare to what we have our hands on. And I'm not saying that because I'm here, but I'm saying that because I know like I know. My friends try to sell, sell, send me all types of things. Like, oh, can you, you give me some feedback? I was like, oh, that's good, but that's trash. Hmm. It's just the reality. It's, it's the reality of what we have our hands on. I'm a value term investor. I, I know everything that's going on there on, under the sun. But I also understand that the timing is everything and also us making sure that we are taking advantage of this opportunity within the lifetime of the opportunity. So take advantage of this opportunity. People need certainty. People need to save money. People need to make residual income. The good word says a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. Right? I'll tell you, one of my great friends is on this call. Shout out to Paula Sofia. She came to our event. Uh, she's in my women's group, right? Recently started attending my church, right? Absolutely phenomenal human being. She believes in passive income. She is a project management professional. She has MBAs. Like she is crazy intelligent, crazy smart. But she's like, oh, this makes sense. Why? Because even as a singer, she knows royalties pay towards residual. But what else do you have that's bringing you passive income to help you get to your goals faster, to help you make an impact in people's lives, right? She might be coming to Italy with us in August too. Again, the savings are astronomical. The savings are undeniable. Once you have a dollar that comes in residually every single month on top of your bills, ladies and gentlemen, that is called freedom. That is called freedom. If you don't leave your family residual income, residual blessings, you will leave them residual debt and residual regret. So again, decisions, consider the needs, decide based on needs and not on desires. Super, super important. People not only need passive income and people need opportunity, people need certainty, people need love. People need to be able to feel empowered and encouraged like they do at our trainings in our community. People need to be able to also know that they're growing and this is why it's like, invite everybody to training. It doesn't matter what they do for a living. Do you think you would want a Pamela Pacheco on your team? Just saying, I was a commercial banker. I'm so grateful. My friend had the courage to invite me to see this information 
in this industry over a decade ago. You never know what people are battling behind closed doors. People need to grow. People need to, a place to contribute their purpose, their dreams to humanity, to further, to make the world a better place. And this community is priceless. Now, when you're thinking of, man, I don't, I don't know who that is, who that may be. Don't second guess. Just call everybody. Invite people because see, if we're not just if we're not growing, we're just dying. And the human being is not like a tree that a tree was meant to say, hey, you can only grow here, right? That's it. You can only grow here. No, the human being is limitless. Like this is why God gave us unlimited potential, but he also gave us free will because what we do with it is our gift back to God. It's our gift back to the world. So understand that the needs that people have are important. People want to make sure that, you know, the significance that people get from adding value to people's lives. Like I had one of my friends that took her kids and it was like over five kids to the movie. She's like, Pam, I'm so grateful. I got this membership, girl. I just saved over $200 taking all these kids to the movie theater. That just filled my soul. I was so grateful to be able to add value in such a way. Again, the needs that people have, people want to save money. People want to make money. People want to people to love on them. People want to grow. People want to feel significant. People want to contribute to making humanity a better place. And what we have our hands on is that and more. So consider the needs. Number three, think logically. Don't make long-term decisions based on short-term emotions. And here's what I mean by that. See, just like somebody can tell you right now that they have the desire to live their wildest dreams and they have the desire to change their family's financial blueprint and they have the desire to impact their community and impact their church and make a contribution to humanity that is gonna outlive them and make a dent in the universe. <clears throat> I'll tell you one thing people also do, people quit. People quit on themselves based on the based on what even I just said earlier, right? That imposter syndrome is real, the limiting beliefs, the excuses, the habits. We are natures of habits. And that's why it's so important for you to have anchors in your life that bring you back to the center, that bring you back to your North Star. Your North Star is like that guiding light. What, what, who are you? What do you want out of life? What do you want to be remembered for? Right. And it's important because why do I say that? Remember why you got started. What has you? What has you getting up every morning? What has you waking up in the middle of the night? What has you excited about life? What has you excited about this opportunity? What has you excited about our events? What has you excited? What was that feeling you felt when you went to that training? And the reason why I tell you that is because people are going to quit. People are going to quit all day long. But make sure you don't quit because they quit on themselves. And I tell people, people ask me like, what's the, what's the hardest thing about this? And I have no problem telling them is that I'm going to want it more for you at times than you're going to want it for yourself. And I'm like such a passionate person. And it's funny because my teammates will tell you, <laughs> be like, hey, you tell Pam your goals, they become her goals. And she going to hold you accountable. If anybody going to hold you accountable, she is. Sis, I'm built like that. Right? But when do you have somebody else that actually cares about you making a difference in not only their your life, but the world and in helping more people do that? And it's important for you to understand that it's like making long-term decisions based on short-term emotions. Oh, you know what? I went, here's a short-term emotion. Oh man, I went and, and, and they're out of my favorite products. It's a short-term emotion. Don't make a long-term decision. It's coming back. Right. And we working on some stuff. I can't tell you, but man, it's going to be better. It's like, oh, my, this is not happening. Listen, do y'all know there's, a, there's still like a war going on around the world and our products are from the Dead Sea? Give it, give it some grace. But here's what I will tell you. When you do see your products, your favorite products back up, stock up on it. Here's another short term emotion. Oh, my goodness. Customer service right now is not. We're hiring new people. We're hiring more people. Guys. These are great growing pains. Like, do you do you know what the growing pains of Amazon were? Imagine when Amazon just started and they were known for books. Do you know? Do, do you, would you rather have been at the beginning there? 
Imagine if you were that person that got invited to Netflix when they were launching, right? And I believe it was San Francisco or Texas, somewhere like that. But imagine, and they only had Netflix originals. Now look at where they're at, their household name. Imagine you being that person that got invited to Disney when it was just characters. Now, now look at where it's at. See, all companies go through four phases of growth. Formulation, concentration, momentum, and stability. So we are at the cusp of momentum. So it's either you hang on because you understand that you're at the right place at the right time with the right people, and it's only going to be a matter of time, but you have to have a vision that is going to pull you when motivation is not pushing you. Have a vision for not only your life, have a vision for how you're serving humanity. Have a vision for how you're impacting your family. Have a vision for the memories you get to create. I was just telling my friend, I was like, you know, I still can't believe sometimes I'm a mom transition and I'm just being transparent with y'all. It's the only way I know how to be. And there's times that, man, the, the pain is unbearing. <laughs> if I'm being honest with you. But I have so many memories with her around the world. I even have so many memories, thousands of memories with my mom at our personal development events. And what that does is it automatically shifts my attitude to gratitude. It automatically shifts that desire to a need to want to help more people experience life with the people that they love because I know it's a part of the circle of life. But I have so many memories with my mom around the world because of this industry. It's priceless. So for me to give up on my dreams, for me to give up on long term because of a short term emotion, I would be a fraud. I would be a disgrace to not only my family, my, my lineage, my lineage before me and my lineage to come, my greatest aunt. But I know one thing. Because I've made decisions, right? I've made great decisions, thank God. Because I've focused on the needs of people, on the needs beyond my desires. Because I've had long-term vision instead of short-term thinking, I've been able to say, hey, I have more in store. I know that there's more ahead. But those memories that you create with the people you love, they're priceless, like nobody could, I can't, if somebody pays me a billion dollars to just take my phone of memories or just erase the memories that I got to make with my mom all over the world. It's funny. I was just seeing a, we were in Mexico. It was Roscoe, Eric G. It was like over a hundred of our teammates and we're like all taking shots by the bar, right? Work hard, play harder guys. It is what it is, but it's so amazing what you get to experience here. It's so amazing what you get to help more people experience. So y'all know that I'm probably the person that has the most memories with my mom out of everybody in my family. It's crazy, right? Insane. Because I captured them all, but also because I made a decision to kill off all of the excuses, to kill off things that didn't serve me, to keep going regardless of what, what, what it looked like, of what it felt like, of the annoyances. Yeah, we're going to go through growing pains. Everything that is going to be legendary has to, has to go through it. And what we're doing right now, it is going to be legendary. This, like people were going to write about this in the history books. I'm telling you, if do not give up on your dreams, do not give up because of the growing pains, do not give up because of the short-term emotions. Have a long-term vision. Have a long-term thinking. Understand that you are at the right place at the right time with the right people. And together, we're going to go further. This has been your Breakfast Club call for Thursday, April 18th, 2024. Breakfast has been served. Blessings on blessings. Make sure you guys catch the recording on our chosen global YouTube page. Take care, great day, and God bless. As always, I hope I was able to add value to you guys. Type a V in the chat if you guys got some value. I read all of your comments. Thank you guys again. Blessings on blessings.